Hi guys, welcome to another video. So today we're going to talk about PhotoPro and their tripods. So I became their um, experience officer for this tripod. They were looking online for people to test their tripods and as I wanted to, to get a smaller tripod for my GoPro and when I hike and for the second camera I was like, mm, you know, why not give it a try. So with me here I have the X Aircross 2 Carbon. I'm going to do the unboxing today and then later on I'm going to show you, you know, I'm not going to film everything today. I'm going to take this tripod on the field and I'm going to tell you what I think about the tripod in general. Uh, I can tell you that this is a very light tripod, it's about one kilo and it's supposed to be 1.5 meters tall uh, without the center column. So we'll see, let's get the unboxing done and uh, we'll see what I have here. I haven't opened this yet so I have no idea how things are packed and how things look like. So let's find out together, shall we? Okay. So we don't need. Wow. I can already say that I'm pretty used to heavy duty tripods and this is pretty, pretty light. So in the box we have some hex screws, big, too big, too big and one small. And now we have a nice case where you can carry the tripod uh, I also have to say that this video is not sponsored like I am I, I did become their of, uh, officer as I explained but they're not paying me to do this review they didn't ask for it and I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys what I think about this tripod and uh, you know if you guys should buy it or not so let's, let's find out more let's open the tripod so as you can see first of all what I like is that the tripod is pretty small and it's compact and it folds quite nicely and seems just like doing this you have the tripod set you unlock unlock the screw here and there you go so you have a small ball head on the top here that you, that you remove like so like this like this, this is an Arca Swiss, which is also what I use, so I can put my, you know, with my L brackets, it's much better to use, uh, to use Arca Swiss. This closes the tripod here, on the nice mount here, and then you can tilt it, and you can pan it as well. This will lock the pan, this will lock the pan, and this will unlock the ball head. It's very nice, like I have to say, this is supposed to be a 5 extend leg accession tripod. Mm, seems nice and sturdy. Actually, I like it. Ooh, I've never seen a tripod that actually. Usually, you can, you know, you un unlock, you know, have th different locks on this, uh, but not on this, not on this tripod. This tripod, you unlock it, you take it like so, and then if you want to lock it, you just lock it like here. You don't have all those other knobs that you have on the other tripod. That's that's interesting, actually. I like it. And is a five leg extension tripod. Seems very interesting and I seem to, to like it. We'll see how it is when it will need to clean it and stuff like that. But the tripod for now seems is like this. It's nothing else came in the box. Uh, it's pretty simple, pretty small. I like the how small it is. It seems to be super quick to to release. And now let's see if we wanna close if we wanna close it, we need to obviously put it back as it was. You open this up. Lock this out over here, press the button here to unlock it, all the way up, all the way up. Oh, this, can, this is nice because you can open totally as well, it has several positions. And all the way up. And then you just need to obviously uh, move the ball head a little bit so, you know, so things don't get in the way, so, you know, like this. And it's locked. Wow, I have to say I'm impressed for now. So let's take this tripod outside, uh, let's do some shooting with it and accept my, my opinion uh, soon enough. So let's go. So guys, as I said before, uh, we unboxed the tripod, now we're gonna try it. Today was a little bit windy, so I decided to come to a sunflower field that is just close to my house. And to be honest, now the wind died down a little bit, but uh, we're gonna open the tripod. I have my 7200 and I wanna try my heaviest setup actually with uh, with this tripod so let's see what we can get today 
So I have to say that this tripod seems to be uh, actually very sturdy. I'm surprised for a, such a light tri uh, tripod that is this sturdy. I usually don't use uh, the middle column because the middle column is usually the weakest part of your tripod. So I usually avoid to use the middle column as much as possible. Obviously this tripod, because of my height, is much smaller. So I could, you know, on this situation, because I'm shooting sunflowers, I will definitely use it. And the wind is not as strong as it was before. Uh, but it, I believe that even with the wind that we had before, uh, this would be perfectly fine. I'm really surprised that this is really sturdy and, uh, you know, you have no problems with a 7200 that is 1.5 kilos uh, lens. You have really no problems with this, with this tripod. So as you can see the difference, uh, this is the tripod on the right is usually the one I travel with and they're usually the one I have and is over two kilos. Uh, so this is the reason why I was looking for a very long time for a traveling tripod and this Photo Pro seems to be the one. So guys, and to conclude my review of this tripod, uh, what do I have to say? So it has been a while since I've been using this tripod, so about a month or so. And I have to say that I'm really, really like it. The only thing I don't like is the, is the legs. The way the legs lock, I'm not a big fan. Like, so sometimes they seem like they're locked and then sometimes they're not. So you really need to be sure that you lock them properly. You don't want your camera to fall, of course. So you really need to make sure that this is locked and it's, uh, securely done apart from this small bit i really really enjoy this tripod like just make sure that it's locked properly for around 170 euros you have a fully carbon tripod very lightweight uh, you definitely are going to see this tripod in a whole lot of my videos with the gopro with my normal camera i really really enjoy and i think you can take this to cityscapes to certain landscapes as well uh, if it's very, very windy, and even sometimes my heavy duty tripod struggles. So obviously in a situation like that, this tripod uh, probably wouldn't, uh, wouldn't do. But for a lot of other scenarios, I believe that this tripod is a really, really great traveling tripod. Size wise, weight wise, it's really, really good. So this is what I have to say about this tripod. And I really honestly liked it. Uh, if I didn't, you wouldn't see that anymore. And uh, I would just, you know, not use it because I don't trust my gear with any, you know, with not good tripods you know it's like a lot of people a lot of times don't really spend the money on the tripods and they try to ship it out there but then they put 3,000 4,000 euro cameras on the tripods and then you know wind comes it blows off they fall down and they get damaged so I really prefer to have the best what I can get so and I really believe that this photo pro is really one of the best uh, traveling tripods out there and you know you guys let me know what you what you think about this tripod if you have any experience with this one if you have experience with other ones uh, please let me know uh, I would also would like to try other ones and compare it even with with a photo pro so if you have any suggestions that you know that would be beneficial for me and you know maybe I could do a comparison review with other other traveling tripods that you guys might suggest just uh, well, leave the comment down below and uh, yeah thanks for watching and uh, I catch you guys in the next one bye